Hey guys, Sarah Elizabeth here, and I'm super excited for you. Um, now, either your lashes are on their way to your house right now, or you just got them. And I'm gonna kind of show you uh, what to do when you first get your lashes. All right, so when you first get your lashes, it's gonna, if you get the bundle, um, you're gonna get this, and I literally just got these uh, the other day. So these are my ladies' nights. I've never tried these before, so I'm super excited. Um, so that's what they look like. And then I also got the brown eyeliner. I always get the brown uh, blacks, just a little edgy for me. Uh, so I get the brown and then it also comes with, the, comes with like this little card kind of cheat sheet thing. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you get your lashes is you're going to want to size them to your face. Uh, most cases, um, we do make our lashes to fit uh, all eye types, especially big ones. So the majority of the people do end up having to trim off a magnet and I'm gonna show you how to do that. First of all, how do you know if your lashes are even too big? Okay, so when you put your lashes on, if you're looking straight ahead, you want your first magnet to be right here at the beginning of uh, the colored part of your eye and you want it to go to the corner of like right just before the corner of this eye all right so just lay the lash right on top of your natural lash and you see how the, there's one magnet it's a little long for my eyes because you want it to start at the color part right here. You can trim a magnet off the outside or the inside, it's totally up to you. 99% um, of the time I recommend you trim it from the outside because the lash hairs are genuinely longer on the outside and they're shorter on the inside and it gives more of a natural look that way. Um, if you trim from the inside, it'll give you like really big lashes on the inside sometimes. Um, so that's just something that um, I recommend for people to do. So here are my little scissors and I'm just going to trim off one magnet like that. It's gonna fit perfectly on my eye, just like that. Now the part that you trimmed off, uh, you don't actually necessarily have to throw it away. You can always add it on top of the lash to give it a little extra flare, or you can use it as an anchor. Um, to be honest, I personally don't even use it, so I just throw it away, but that's something you guys can do if you wanted to. And now we're gonna do it for the other eye. All right, so the second thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you first get your lashes is you're gonna kinda of want to bend them or break them in a little bit. Um, Cause you notice they do have a natural curve and a lot of people find that sometimes they're just a little stiff when you first get your lashes. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is pinch your lashes and just kind of just massage it a little bit in between each of the little magnets, very gently, um, just to kind of break it in and give it more um, flexibility and a little bit of a bigger bend to your lashes and you're gonna want to do this with both pairs of lashes see it's a little bit of a deeper curve and after that you guys are all set to just start putting on your lashes and I'm, I have a separate video for that so go ahead and uh, watch that see you then